Hey folks and welcome to this weekly update of tech news from myself, Sarah Lean. This episode was recorded on the 8th of March 2024, so let's dive in. The first bit of news I want to cover is the retirement. So Azure was retiring the classic cloud services deployment model on the 31st of August 2024. Before that date, if you're still using any of the classic cloud services, you need to migrate across to the new or the current Azure Resource Manager model. Looking to the future, Microsoft have announced the latest AMD-based virtual machines in public preview featuring the fourth generation AMD EPYC 9004 Geneva or Genoa, sorry, CPU. These virtual machines available in DE and F family series outperform their predecessors with enhanced performance and reliability. With variants accommodating different memory needs and budgets, these virtual machines, empowered by Azure Boost and the NVMe interface, promise up to 80% better remote storage performance, 400% faster local storage speeds and 20% network bandwidth improvement. Now, this public preview is available in the East US2 region first of all, so definitely check that out and watch for it coming to other regions as well. The Azure Sphere OS version 24.03 is now available for evaluation in the retail eval feed, offering a 28-day testing period. This release includes bug fixes, security updates and an updated version of Curl. Now, do do some compatibility checking with this, particularly for applications leveraging Curl Multi and other specific functionalities like Wolf SSL and Azure IoT services. Azure NetApp Files now allows the same volume mount path for multiple volumes in a region, each located in a different availability zone, aiding highly available architectures and disaster recovery setups. This enhancement simplifies automation and reduces manual effort during failover potentially improving recovery time, objectives, and application availability. It applies to SMB, NFS, and dual protocol volumes, benefiting various scenarios across cross-zone replication and test dev environments, requiring consistent mount points. And it's worth noting this is a public preview feature at the moment. And the last bit of news is you can now utilise custom backups to securely store your web app files and configuration data over the Azure Virtual Network. Providing that your app is integrated with a virtual network or is in a V3 app service plan environment and the storage account has been granted access from the corresponding virtual network. Thanks for tuning in folks and please don't forget to leave me a review, share this podcast and subscribe on whatever platform you're listening on and I'll see you all again soon.